What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. So as I continue to do my DIY project, um, I, some of you guys ask me, how do I film my videos? Also, do I use a Canon Connect app? Because I use all Canon cameras to film everything on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to kind of show you guys and tell you how I film my videos. Also, I'm going to show you guys details on how to use the Canon Connect app for your Canon cameras. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So this is my continuous coverage of my DIY project that I'm doing in my studio. As y'all guys know, I took my whole studio, just ripped it apart and I started from scratch. I got some new backgrounds. I got, I'm still using green screens, but I got new backgrounds and everything in between. I have a overhead setup, also new lights, and I got three camera angles. Actually, I have four Canon cameras, but I have three camera angles uh, that I use here on this channel. So let's go to the goal of it real quick because this video, I want to to dedicate some time as far as how to use the Canon Connect app. A viewer of mine hit me up in the comments and said, hey, do I use the Canon Connect app to monitor uh, my videos and stuff like that? Sure I do. The Canon Connect app is very good. If you have a Canon camera, please use the app. But I'm gonna go over it also. But you can use, you know, Sony apps and other systems have apps like that. But since I'm a Canon guy and I use nothing but Canon cameras, the Canon Connect app is very important. All right, so let's go over it. All right, I got three camera angles that I got going on. I got the Canon SL3 for my side angle, right? And it works very well. Uh, I have my new Canon 90D that I'm using for my front camera. And then I'm using for the overhead camera, I'm using a Canon M50 uh, with the Veltrack Speed Booster with a 50 millimeter lens on it to kind of get that good overhead shot. So let's talk about the monitors. I have three monitors, actually two monitors in my PC. I haven't got the third monitor yet, that's on the way. This monitor right here is the Nura monitor. This monitor uh, I, I have on my overhead camera so I can see everything is in perfect focus and everything is out. Uh, my front camera, I have the newer also. This monitor, I can see everything and make sure I'm in focus and everything in between. Now I'm using my PC for my side camera right here. So to get that kind of side camera angle, when I'm doing product reviews, I want to get that side camera angle. So I'm using three cameras at all times. So I use three phones with the Canon Connect app, connect to all three cameras wirelessly so I can monitor the f-stop, the focus, uh, to make sure the ISO and everything is really good before I hit record. And so as I get set up to record my video, I just hit record on all three phones and it's gonna record. And as I do my commentary and do my videos with all three shots, uh, when I'm done, I just use the Canon Connect app and I, uh, I hit stop on all three cameras. And you could do that via wirelessly. So the Canon Connect app is very important. All right, which we go talk about in this video. So let's talk about the lights. I'm using the Beltrax lights. I have six of them all around my, my poles here. Uh, and they give me that good lighting. The battery life on here is really good. I can get about six hours of battery life. I don't crank them all the way up to 100%. So I got them all around the room. I got them on a pole here and a pole there to kind of light up the room a lot. So when I'm doing product reviews, as you can see, I got one light angle this way. I have another light angle this way. And the reason why is because I don't want the overhead light because the light usually hit the displays or whatever I'm recording. And once it hit the display, Displays, it it takes away so I kind of have them on the angle to give that good lighting on the angle um, the overhead shot works very good nice and clear uh, and I'm using the Canon not 80d to recall this right here also as far as audio I'm using the Rode wireless video mic right now uh, or I will use my overhead mic uh, which also works very good. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Canon Connect app. And I'm gonna get everything set up and we're gonna go through the features of the Canon Connect app. But I just wanna kind of show you guys some continuous coverage of my DIY project that I'm doing in this studio. Again, I'm not done. I'm still working on some stuff. I'm still getting more accessories in uh, to try to make my filming life easy. But here it is. That's nice, let's go. All right guys, so let's talk about the Canon Connect app. 
Uh, the first thing you got to do is you got to go to your camera, go to your Wi-Fi settings, and uh, you have to connect a either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi device. So when you go to your camera and you select a new device, uh, you hit the Wi-Fi signal or the Bluetooth signal. If you hit the Bluetooth signal, that's something different. You got to connect it to Bluetooth, which I never done before. I always connect it via Wi-Fi. So when you connect the Canon Connect app via Wi-Fi, it's going to give you a password. What you have to do is you have to go to your Wi-Fi, right? And you connect the, the proper um, camera and you put the Wi-Fi code in, just like a, a Wi-Fi password. That's all you're doing is you're just connecting it via Wi-Fi, just like you're doing your internet. So on the Canon Connect app, there's a few things that you see here. Uh, right here, uh, you have your settings right here. It's telling me that uh, I'm in TV mode, which I'm not recording right now. It's telling me I'm in TV mode, which is uh, uh, one over 60. Then it's telling me my my f-stock is 4.5 so i'm right at 4.5 so if i wanted to change some stuff just say if i wanted to change my iso let's go to change it down to about 800 it makes it a little darker so 800 is about right for uh for what i do but you can change your iso and everything in between all right and right here uh my shutter speed is 1 over 60. so um right that's great all right uh that's great my shutter speed because i'm shooting at uh 30 frames per second so since i'm shooting at 30 frames per second you double your shutter speed so i'm at 1 over 60 so hey, it is is good if you go to your setting it, it kind of tell you if you want to mirror if you want to uh, magnify to make sure that you're in focus which sometimes you want to magnify just to make sure that the product that you're trying to shoot is in focus so you can magnify and stuff like that uh you could touch autofocus all right, so that is a unique feature. So if I want to touch autofocus, there it goes. So right there is telling the camera that I want this in focus. As you can see, I just touch autofocus. If I want to touch autofocus right there, uh, you could do that. So uh, you, before you even start recording, you get everything set up, you touch your autofocus, you do your magnification and everything in between. So this works great. So that's the Canon Connect app. It's real easy, it's a must if you record videos a lot like I do. Uh, I don't know how else to say it. It's the best thing that you can use is a Canon Connect app. Not only that, but uh, I could take the images right off of the camera and um, upload it to my tablet. So that makes it very good. Just think about if you're on the scene, if you're taking a lot of photos, you can use your phone and every time you take a photo, use your Canon Connect app and transfer them photos over really fast. So you can get those photos transferred over. So if your SD card crash, you still have all your dot, all your photos. You could even do it with videos. So if you want to take your videos and, and bring them on over, after you take a short clip or something, you could do it with the Canon Connect app. I mean, it works great. So that's why I like the Canon Connect app. And I like the Wi-Fi because it, it transferred not the fastest, but at least you don't lose anything. So the Canon Connect app works great in that instance. So you could do transfers and you can even set up for auto transfer. So you can auto transfer everything. So as soon as you take a shot, it immediately go to your phone or your tablet. Every time you take a video, once you stop that video, it will transfer it over to your phone or tablet. So in this video, I just showed you my, uh, some of my progress in my studio. Um, it's, it's still a work in progress. Uh, and I uh, showed you guys the Canon Connect app. If you're a Sony, I'm quite sure they got a Sony app, uh, but I'm a Canon guy. Y'all know how I roll. So um, I love Canon. I love how to use them. I love the, the system. I love the Canon system. It works great for me. Uh, and uh, But yeah, some of y'all guys try to switch me over to Sony, but uh, I, I made a, a tough decision to stay a Canon man. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Canon app in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.